You can watch the best parts of this series at MedCircle.com. Kevin Hines is a public speaker, a doting husband, and a great son. He's also living with bipolar one disorder and chronic suicidality. His book, Cracked Not Broken, chronicles what life looked like before his diagnosis, before proper mental health treatment, and how he attempted suicide by jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. His story is unlike any you've heard. This is the Kevin Hines series. Kevin, do you know why today is so significant? I didn't even think about it right now. Today's the anniversary of the day I attempted to take my life off the Golden Gate Bridge. I didn't even think about it until you said it. Why do you think you didn't think about it till now? You know, Kyle, for the most part, I have closure, you know? I mean, my dad took me back to the bridge a year later to the date of my anniversary. And we, we stood at the very light rail that I attempted. I knew exactly which light rail it is. It, it was, and I, 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 I don't say it aloud because I don't want people to get ideas, but we stood there and, and he had had me, uh, we're on the drive there, he pulls over right in front of the police officers union building right near Clement and Park Presidio in San Francisco, if you know that area. And all these police were in their full dress blues in the windows. All their cars were lined up in the parking lot and their bikes. And he goes, Kevin, Kevin, pick a flower. And I go, Dad, I'm not picking a flower from the police officers union building in San Francisco to get arrested. He goes, pick a flower, Kevin. Jump out, grab a purple tulip with yellow inside. We go to the bridge. We get to the parking lot. I don't want to get out of the car. I don't want to get out of the car. Dad, I can't do this. I can't do this. Kevin, we need this. You have to do this. We need closure. I said, Dad, you need closure. I need to go home and lay down. He said, no, Kevin, we're doing this. So we, we walk out to the bridge and he says, show me where. And I showed him the exact light rail like it, was the day be- like it happened the day before. We hold the flower over the rail. My father grabs my left hand with his right. We say in our father. And he says, drop the flower. And I dropped the flower and it wafted down and hit the water and made the tiniest ripple effects. And two feet to the right popped up a sea lion. And it was arguably the most beautiful moment I've ever had with my dad besides him being the best man at my wedding. And the sea line has a lot of significance that we will get into in yeah. this series. Um, for people who don't know you, uh, you have become one of the world leaders of suicide awareness, of mental health uh, advocacy. Why have you dedicated your life to this cause? Kyle, I often say in my speeches I've been in pain since the day I was born. Born in squalor in the Tenderloin of San Francisco in the worst neighborhood then, the worst neighborhood today, in what they called a crack motel. It was a rough life for me in my beginning. And when you have that traumatic infancy, it never leaves you. And it follows you your whole life. And it had a great deal to do with my breakdown at 17 in my development of bipolar disorder, which both my biological parents had before me. And to answer your question, I dedicate my life, sometimes 300, 320 days a year to this cause because I want to help people who are in that devastating brain pain find the will to stay. Mm. At least, Kyle, I wanna try my hardest to do that, to help people recognize their value, that they are worthy and that suicide is never the solution to their problem. Mm. It is the problem. Mm. Very well said. Well, I'm very excited to get into this series. I've finished reading your book, as most everybody here has, Cracked, Not Broken. Uh, Really excellent information in there, but also such a uh, fascinating read. It It was a read that kept me going. Uh, I didn't feel like I was reading a textbook or anything. I felt <laughs> like I was reading a, a man's story. Um, so it's an honor to meet you and have you here. I think that people are going to watch this and become instant Kevin Hines fans if they're not already. 
and perhaps even more important, they will walk away with tools and an education that they didn't have before. So uh, we'll be back next week as we go through your book, you and I. I'm very excited. We'll talk about your childhood. We'll talk about the high school and college years, your speaking career. Um, of course, we'll talk about uh, your your trials, your tribulations, and your successes. And we'll talk about that sea lion too. Yeah. I see it on your shirt already. Yeah. His name is Herbert. His name is Herbert. Yeah. And he saved my life. There you go. I love it. Thanks for watching. Your next step is to go to medcircle.com and finish watching this series. There you can also access other series and get actionable advice and simple explanations. Continue your mental health journey at medcircle.com and I'll see you there.